cold sores. It's estimated more than 70% of the UK population carries the cold sore virus, with 25% of sufferers experiencing on average two to three outbreaks every year. This video will look at what causes them and what are the triggers to avoid. We will also be looking at how we can treat cold sores with a different therapy approach. A cold sore is a blister-like infection that forms on or around the lips and is caused by the herpes simplex virus type 1. Most people suffer their first attack in childhood. However, the virus is never eliminated from the body and attacks can flare up again, particularly in times of stress or during illness where immunity may be lowered. Cold sores are highly contagious and the virus is often transmitted by a touch or via kisses. A typical cold sore can last anything between 7 and 12 days. The virus remains within the person's system and tends to break out when the immune system itself is run down. And causes for this include generalised fatigue, exposure to very cold weather or bright sunlight. And a woman's monthly menstrual cycle can also be a trigger for the development of the sore. And also physical and emotional stress. If you're troubled by colds or flu, this can also be a trigger, though the virus is not related to the cold and flu virus itself. Gastrointestinal issues, such as diarrhoea and vomiting. Dental treatment and injury to the skin, particularly around the mouth. Allergies and diseases associated with the increased metabolism, such as thyroid problems, can also play a large role. Cold sores can last between 7 and 12 days and typically follow the same five stages. Day 1 to 2 is that typical tingling stage where the skin becomes hypersensitive. The skin may feel like it's also tightening around the area where the cold sore is going to form. Day 2 to 3 is the blistering stage where those little clear thin walled blisters appear. Day 4 the blisters start to break down and the ulcer develops. This shallow painful ulcer is usually the most contagious stage. Days 5 to 8 is the scabbing stage where the cold sore begins to dry out and a scab forms over the top. And this stage is often associated with severe itching and burning. And then finally, between days 9 and 12, there is the healing stage where that crusty scab begins to dry out and eventually flakes off, leaving healed skin underneath. So, how can you help ease the symptoms of a cold sore and speed up the healing time? Well, the latest treatment approach is the use of light therapy. Light therapy, or phototherapy, is a proven science, and as early as the ancient Greeks, man has used the power of the sun to heal and invigorate. Today we've just advanced our scientific understanding of light and its effect on our bodies and how we can apply these to make advances in medicine. So what is light therapy? Well light is the name for a range of electromagnetic waves that form just a tiny part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Light of course is all around us every day but what we sometimes don't realise is that light is made up of not just visible light but also invisible light. Visible light is detected by the human eye as colours ranging from violet to red. The invisible portion of the light spectrum, the bit we can't see, is often termed as infrared light. Light is composed of tiny particles called photons, which are packets of energy that move through space, and it's these photons that form the electromagnetic waves. The wave has amplitude, which is the brightness of the light, and a wavelength, which is the colour of the light. And it's this wavelength that is very important in phototherapy applications. New Lipsor Light Device is a patented technologically advanced electronic light device for the treatment of cold sores. Lipsor uses light of a specific therapeutic wavelength, 1072 nanometers, to safely target the tissues around the cold sore and improve immunological function, helping to rapidly speed up the healing process. The use of light in medicine has been well known for many years and intense pulse light and laser therapy has been used to treat everything from birthmarks to tattoo removal, unwanted hair and even the treatment of acne and other types of scarring. But those types of light generate a lot of heat within the skin and the treatment can be uncomfortable and even painful. Cold sores are often difficult to treat using conventional products which contain a variety of antiviral agents, antiseptic and anaesthetics. Lipsor is a cold sore device which uses a patented light therapy approach, an entirely different treatment compared to conventional cold sore treatments such as creams and liquids. The Lipsor device emits a very pure form of light from two light emitting diodes known as LEDs, and these significantly reduce the healing time and associated symptoms of cold sores. The efficacious non thermal light is of a very specific wavelength, 1072 nanometers, which is part of the infrared range of light and is invisible to the naked eye. The easy to use device is held against the surface of the skin at the site of the cold sore and the light is emitted over an automatically controlled three minute period. This treatment harnesses the power of natural light, stimulating the cells involved in the body's defence mechanism 
to heal the cold sore more quickly and help reduce the reoccurrence and severity of future attacks. Lipzor works by targeting the mitochondria, which are the energy-producing powerhouses present in cells within the human body. These mitochondria absorb photons of light at very specific wavelengths and convert this into additional energy, which the cell can then make use of, making it more active and more efficient. During this process, the ability of the cell to communicate with other cells is enhanced, and this in turn stimulates cells involved in the wound healing processes, thus leading to an improved immune response and faster cold sore healing, repairing the damage to the tissues caused by the virus. Lipzor emits light at 1072 nanometers. There are clinical studies that demonstrate why the 1072 wavelength is the optimum wavelength at which light protects human cells and repairs tissue. It's for this exact reason that Lipsor uses a light wavelength of 1072 nanometers. As a result, Lipsor's light therapy delivers a very precise light in a controlled and safe way and targets specific cells in the body, leaving other cells unaffected. Also, unlike lasers and intense pulsed light, Lipsor produces no heat, so there is no risk of burns, skin damage or damage to the eyes. In addition, treatment with Lipsor leaves no telltale signs or marks on the skin. So let's now have a look at how to use the Lipsor device. Before using Lipsor, there are a few simple steps that patients should follow for best results. And these are as follows. First and most importantly, you should wash your hands and then remove any lip balm or moisturizing product from the treatment area. Then clean the rim of the device, the area that is in contact with your skin, ideally with an antiviral wipe or antiviral tissue or an alcohol swab. Most importantly, don't immerse it in water to wash it because it is an electrical device and that will damage it. So, step one, simply press the power button and you'll hear a beep. Then hold the device over the area that you're going to be treating. Step two, listen for the beep that you just heard. This means the light therapy is actually working, although remember the light is invisible, so you won't actually see light coming from the device. There's no need to watch the clock, it comes with its own inbuilt self-timer and will automatically switch itself off after the three minute treatment cycle, which is indicated by a second beep. Once you've heard that beep, you can remove the device from the affected area, give the rim a quick clean again with an antiviral wipe or tissue. Ideally, patients should be advised to use Lipsor three times a day for two days, and I would suggest morning, noon, and night. This provides a good spacing of the treatments and therefore allows for the best results. So we've heard what Lipsor is all about and how it works, but what about the scientific evidence? There's some very good clinical evidence demonstrating the efficacy behind the 1072 wavelength of light used in the Lipsor device. The first clinical study carried out to test the efficacy of the 1072 wavelength was a randomised prospective double-blind study in 51 patients suffering from cold sores. This was performed to compare the efficacy of a single 5-minute 1072 nanometer narrow waveband light application against topical acyclovir, applied five times daily in the treatment of herpes labialis, or cold sores. The treatment was initiated within 36 hours of the onset of symptoms, and the end point was defined as the day that the crust was discarded, leaving uninterrupted underlying skin at the site of the cold sore. The results demonstrated that a single light treatment significantly reduced cold sore healing time by almost 50%, with the device healing cold sores in 4.3 plus or minus 1.8 days, compared with acyclovir applied five times daily, which healed cold sores within 8.5 days plus or minus three days and this was highly statistically significant. A follow-up study showed that using LEDs emitting 1072 nanometer light was effective in the treatment of cold sores, and this was a randomized, double-blind study in 32 volunteers in which the efficacy of the light device was compared with the placebo device. The dose of 1072 nanometer light was at least six three-minute treatments. The time a cold sore took to form a crust was two days on average for those treated with 1072 nanometer light and 2.8 days for those treated with the placebo device. The significant difference between the mean healing times in the two groups demonstrates that the over-the-counter 1072 nanometer LED device is an effective means of treating cold sores. A further study using similar methodology recruiting 95 patients with recurrent cold sores also found that the 1072 nanometer LED device reduced the time to heal cold sores compared with the placebo. In this study, the active treatment group of patients received a three-minute treatment with the device three times a day for two days, whilst those in the control group received a sham light treatment with an inactive device. These devices, used in the treatment and control groups, were identical in appearance and couldn't be differentiated either by the researchers or the patients. 
The mean healing time for the active group was 142.1 hours, compared with 189.7 hours for the control group, again with the difference being statistically highly significant. Ian is a cold sore sufferer and he says Lipsor has made a big difference to his life. I've suffered with cold sores for a number of years and used creams in the past and more recently used uh, tablets as well from the doctor. I wanted something that was more convenient and to hand um, should I feel the tingling and uh, Lipsor was something that I thought would be something that would fit the bill. The uh, device is very easy to use, very convenient, only takes about three minutes um, each treatment and uh, I found that it reduced the, the healing time significantly. Uh, I think it's a lot more cost effective than other treatments because you only have to lay out once for the device as opposed to continually laying out for uh, the cream or the prescription tablets. Lipzor is not only safe and easy to use but has been proven in clinical trials and market research to be extremely effective. It can cut the duration of cold sores by about half compared to topical antivirals and some people have even found that using it in the initial tingling stages can prevent an outbreak of cold sores developing altogether. The beauty of Lipsor is that it promotes the body's own healing response in a natural and targeted way and the light can penetrate the skin through to the subcutaneous tissues. The way in which it boosts local immune response can even help to reduce future cold sore outbreaks. Lipsor is also hugely convenient. It can easily be pocketed or slipped into a handbag or briefcase, so it can be taken and used anywhere and at any time.